Hi, this is Annette Sullivan from Lavender Thoughts. I'm just here to show you some tricks to navigate my Lavender Thoughts blog and find things that you might not have known were there or if you're trying to find a project you know that I've made and you can't work out how to get back to it. So here's some quick tips and tricks on how to get into my blog and find your way around. If you have any other questions, please leave me a comment on the blog post or send me an email and I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks very much for watching. Okay, so this is what you're going to see when you first go into my homepage of my blog. You'll see the heading up here. Then underneath it, you've got a number of menu items. The first one, wherever you are in the blog itself, if you click on that button, it will bring you back to this homepage. So on the home page you can see lots of previous posts and a whole lot of items down the sidebar here. So if we go to our next menu item, it will take you to my Stampin' Up! online shop. The first one will take you to the home page there which will list everything that's happening. You can organise what, where you want to go from there. If there's any particular promotions going on, I will have direct links to them. Um, so you don't have to navigate through them to them from somewhere else in the shop. At the moment we have retiring products, so I've got a link to them and then a link to our clearance rack. <coughs> Excuse me, the next catalogs, whatever catalogs are current, you'll be able to download a PDF file by clicking on these buttons. The next one will take you to my page on how to why you should join my team and all the different benefits that you'll get from doing that. The next one will take you to my classes, tell you what's going on with my classes, when they're held, timetable for the year and what the current month classes are. My Stampin' Up! website will take you, I'll just open that in a new tab, and that will take you to obviously my Stampin' Up! online website. And from there you can also shop, you can see what events are happening, um, find out more about events, you can find what specials are happening, you can join up, you can get other ideas and you'll also see blog posts that are actually on, come straight from my blog. So then we've got a link to my Facebook page to my Pinterest page, to my YouTube channel, to Instagram and to Twitter. So clicking on any of those will take you to those pages. Now looking down the left hand, the right hand column here, you've got the sidebar. The first one is to join me on Facebook. Click on that button and that will add my Facebook page to your likes in Facebook. Now the reason that why you'd say why do I want to join your Facebook as well as your blog? Well on my blog I post usually every second day. On my Facebook page I post little hints, little things once or twice every single day. So you're going to find out more little things on Facebook plus then you get all the big things happening on my blog too. Next we have subscribe to my newsletters. Okay, subscribing to my newsletters you will get exclusive free tutorials every month of projects that I do not show anywhere else. So the newsletter will tell you about things that are coming up, it will tell you when classes are on, um, any special promotions, plus give you these exclusive tutorials every month. The next one is to follow my blog. Um, by clicking on this button you will receive an email every time I post to my blog. So you can keep up to date there too. The hostess code is for when you're doing online shopping. If your order is going to be less than $250, by including this hostess code in your order, that supports my business. Thank you very much. If your order is going to be over $250, oh, sorry about that message. So we go back to the hostess code. Under $250, use the code and it supports my business. If your order is over $250, then you don't need that code because you're going to get your own stamp and rewards just for having an order that size. Okay, a quick link to the class timetable. And again, more links to the catalogue so you can actually see what's on the covers here. 
And again, clicking on those will give you access to download the PDF. Now these are the special little buttons here. Searching my blog, using the drop down menu, contacting me and the archives button. Okay, you know I've done a project on or you want to do something for mail cards or something. So if you type in masculine, nope, probably not quite spelled it correctly for you. That's going to bring up all the cards that I have got or all the projects that I have done where I've indicated that the projects are suitable for masculine. So that's a quick way to find out. Then you can then click on the individual item to take you to that post and find out more. Okay, we'll go back down to the next drop down menu. If you know the particular category, so anything but cards, obviously boxes, um, sticky note things, everything like that will be under there. Different challenges, if you know I did a card for a particular challenge and you're trying to find it, you can just click on that and it will take you to all my posts for that. All the dies, um, if you know it's a particular die, you can click on that and it will take you to all the posts that have used that particular die. Scroll out of those. And we've got occasions. So if you want something for birthdays, masculine, sympathy, wedding, babies, anniversaries, click on that and there's see Christmas, there's 249 posts to give you some ideas. Then we go down and we've got all the different punches. If you want to see how to use a different sort of punch, how it's been used in a project, you can click on those. Then we go down and we have all the stamp sets. So if you want to use a particular stamp set and you want some ideas for it, you can just click on that particular stamp set and it will bring up the projects that have been done on that. Now once we get to the end of the stamp sets, we've got techniques. So if you know a particular technique or you're just scrolling through here thinking, oh, I wonder what Belique Pottery is for. And you can just click on that and go in and it'll come up and bring you the cards that I've made with that. And you can click on the various posts and go in and check out what it's all about and how to use it. So that shows you through there. Okay. So I'll go back down in our categories again. Let's go back down here to the tutorials. Lots of different, tuto different techniques down here. So if you're trying to work out whether I've done a tutorial on it, um, click on the tutorials. If you want to see if I've done a YouTube video on it, you can click on the YouTube videos and do and get quick access to those particular projects. If you know something was in a particular month, you can just scroll down and find out what month it was and it'll bring up the post for that month. Okay, well that's just a quick look at how to get around my blog and find things you might not have even known were there. Um, didn't realise that you could actually search and find particular projects on there. If you've got any more ideas or something you can't find on here, just contact me using that contact me form down here or just leave a comment at the end of this blog post and I will chase it up for you. Thanks very much for watching.